Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arlene and I am the tutor for Silent Math. Today, I wanted to show you how to evaluate an expression. But before we do that, I think you already know, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button for future notifications. All right, let's get started. Let's read the directions together for questions one and two. It says evaluate each expression for A equals five, B equals 12 and C equals two. So what that means is you wanna be plugging in those specific values into those terms, into A, B, and C to figure out what our final answer is going to be. So let me show you how to do that with question one. So A is five according to the direction. So we're gonna say five plus, and then our B value is 12. So we're gonna say plus 12 plus two times our C value, which they said was two. With order of operations, we need to multiply first. So let's do the two times two, this portion. So we're gonna leave the others as is. And then two times two is four. Now again, order of operations says to add from left to right. So let's do five plus 12, which is 17. Bring down the four. And then lastly, we're going to simplify 17 plus four, which is 21. So the answer to question one is 21. Let's try it with question two. So here they want us to do b squared minus 4ac. So again, b value is 12. So we're gonna write 12 squared minus four times a, which is five, times c, which is two. Following order of operations, we need to do the exponents first. So let's evaluate 12 squared, which means 12 times 12. That is 144 minus, and so let's multiply from left to right. So negative four times five, is negative 20 and let's bring down that extra two let's continue to multiply on the right hand side so we bring down the 144 negative 20 times 2 is negative 40 and 144 minus 40 is equal to 104. you can see it's very simple we're just plugging in our values those two questions are considered my easy problems for the day now we're going to move over to the medium questions for questions three and four, we have a different set of directions. It says evaluate each expression for m equals three, p equals seven, and q equals four. So again, we're just gonna be plugging in those values into each of our terms for questions three and four. So looking at three, we have m or three times p squared. So our p value is seven. So we're gonna say seven squared minus q or minus four, and then close the parentheses. And again, we're gonna use our order of operations to simplify. So we're gonna simplify what's inside the parentheses, starting with the exponent. Seven squared is seven times seven, which is 49. 49 minus four. Let's continue simplifying what's inside the parentheses. 49 minus four is 45. And three times 45 is 135. If you wanna try out question four all by yourself by pressing pause on this video and then coming back when you wanna compare the answers, you may do so. So for question four, we have QP squared plus PQ squared. It's a little tricky with the letters, but we're gonna substitute using parentheses. So our Q value is four. Our P value is seven squared plus our p value again is seven our q value is four and then squared so again order of operations we're gonna simplify the exponent first so we have four times seven squared is seven times seven that's 49 plus seven times four squared is four times four and that is 16. moving on four times 49 is 196 and seven times 16 is 112 and together that makes 308. So if you ended up getting that answer correct, good job. Moving on to the last two challenge questions now. The reason I'm considering this a challenge question is because a lot of people struggle with fractions. So I figured I'd show you guys how to do it in an easy way. So I'm gonna plug in all my values. For this problem, P is seven and Q is equal to five. So P plus four Q or seven, plus four times Q or five, all over three. Let's evaluate further. So seven plus, now four times five is 20, all over three. For the numerator, seven plus 20 is 27, all over three. And as we know, 
three does go into 27 perfectly nine times. So the answer to question five is nine. Here is the very last question of this video. We have H plus the difference of 34 and G squared divided by G. And we're just gonna be plugging in those values and then we're gonna simplify as we go. H is two plus 34 minus G squared or three squared divided by G. We're just gonna take it step by step. According to PEMDAS, we have to perform what's inside the parentheses first. So we have two plus, now within the parentheses, we have an exponent, so let's simplify that. The three squared, so 34 minus nine, since three times three is nine, divided by, oops, and I didn't plug in G. We said G is three, so divided by three. Now let's continue to simplify what's in the parentheses. 34 minus nine is 25 divided by three. Now we have to divide, but we are gonna get a fraction, but don't be afraid of that. We have two plus. So 25 divided by three can be rewritten as this, 25 divided by three. So now we have a whole number and an improper fraction being added together, but as we know, we always need to add with the same denominators. So that means the two has to be rewritten to have a three as a denominator. So let's take that over here. So if we want to have three in the denominator, that means we need to multiply three to top and bottom of two. All whole numbers have a denominator of one, and we're just going to multiply across. Two times three is six, and one times three is three. So two wholes is equivalent to six thirds. So I'm gonna write that right underneath. I'm gonna bring down 25 over three, and now we can simplify. Six plus 25 is 31, and we're gonna keep the denominator as three. So this is our answer as an improper fraction. If you wanna turn it into a mixed number, it's just division. So three goes into 31 10 times with a remainder of one, and we keep the denominator. So we can also say our answer is 10 and one third if you wanted to turn it into a mixed number. That concludes the lesson for today. I taught you how to evaluate an expression. I hope at the end of this video, you had some clarity on how to simplify. If you did find it helpful, go ahead and tag your friends, like this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for future notifications. If you'd like to continue learning, go check out my other videos I have posted. I will see you guys next time and stay safe.